Known as the Western Kingdom, Morocco has lived up to its expectations as one of the most valuable countries of the continent of Africa. Generating the fifth largest economy in all of Africa, Morocco is expected to record a compound annual growth rate of 8% by 2024. The commercial building construction market in value terms is expected to register a growth of 10% over the forecast period. The pandemic has affected the economic growth of the country and surrounding regions. Still, affordable housing is expected to stay least affected, supported by a mix of public and private spending. Infrastructure in Morocco continues to make leaps of progression that consist of many innovative projects. These deal with rail line infrastructure, which is undergoing serious renovations and expansion. In 2018, the country officially unveiled its $2.6 billion fastest high-speed train in Africa, the Al Borac, which operates at a maximum speed of 320 km per hour. Also, the Moroccan government is planning to invest $28 billion in road construction through 2035. Apart from that, air and mobile infrastructure have also been kept in mind to ready the country for many years of tourism in the future. According to the BNC network, there are over 200 active mega-construction projects in Morocco with a combined estimated value of just under $66 billion. The North African country is experiencing sharp growth on the back of government investments that seek to meet the needs of a rising population, according to the Morocco Construction Market Outlook report. That all being said, we shall discuss in this video the 10 most impressive mega construction projects in Morocco. Before we continue, make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our exciting future videos. So without further delays, here are the 10 most impressive mega projects in Morocco. Number 10, Grand Theater of Rabat. Morocco is preparing to open the Grand Theater of Rabat, which at 47,000 square meters, will be the largest theater in the Arab world and Africa, adding a new dimension to Morocco's official capital. Designed by the late Iraqi avant-garde architect Zaha Hadid, the theater, which will serve as a multifunctional cultural venue, is part of an ambitious national cultural development program initiated by Moroccan King Mohammed VI for artistic and cultural reinvention. The project aims to transform the urban landscape on both sides of the Bauergrig River. Number 9, Arabit Center. The construction of Arabit Center, also called Arabit Mall in Rabat, Morocco, has been completed last year, bringing into the country one of the most attractive shopping centers and the largest setup of its kind, and also giving the people of Rabat an alternative to both Rabat's Mega Mall and Casablanca's Morocco Mall. The structure sits on a 12 acres piece of land, and it took up over $245 million to construct. The construction of Arabit Center has produced a mixed-use retail, leisure, office and hospitality scheme, which features a 45,000 square meter shopping center, a large food court which has been occupied by several vendors, a 12-screen multiplex cinema, 40,000 square meters of office space and a Marriott Hotel, a 230 rooms four-star hotel, which is set to open in the coming months with a conference center. Number 8, Hyatt Regency, Tagazout Bay. This hotel has 205 rooms is located on a 45-acre site facing the beach in the Tagazout Bay development area. The hotel is a part of a more comprehensive development having residential units, an 18-hole golf course, beach club, retail center, tennis academy, and a Moroccan spa and surf camp. Located in a prime beach area, the hotel contains various dining options, including a speciality restaurant and a pool bar. It is the second Hyatt-branded hotel in Tagazout, joining Hyatt Place Tagazout Bay. Number 7, Muhammad VI Tower. The 250-meter-high Muhammad VI Tower is designed to be visible from a distance of 50 kilometers all round. With a total area of 102,800 square meters, the building consists of a tower set on a podium to resemble a rocket on its launch pad. Inside, the 55 stories contain a luxury hotel, offices, high-end apartments, and even a viewing terrace at the top, all accessible via a total of 40 lifts, 23 in the tower and 17 in the podium. 
the structure can withstand not only the usual elements, such as strong winds or seismic events, but also flooding from the neighboring Bowergrig River. The tower is braced 70% by its concrete core and 30% by the structure of the steel porticos on its facade. In view of the apartments at the top of the tower, a tuned mass damper system to reduce oscillations will be installed in the last few stories. The tower's south facade will be fully equipped with 3350 square meters of panels, while rainwater recovery and wastewater recycling systems are incorporated in the building's design. The hot water also comes from an internal energy recovery system. The building is designed to be certified LEED Gold and HQE, complying with the highest international environmental quality standards. The project estimated to cost $375 million is expected to be completed in 2022. Number 6. Wessel Casablanca Port. The Wessel Casablanca Port involves redeveloping both the port and the city's nearby Medina area over five to seven years. Once complete in 2022, the 120,000 square meter site will include a marina, houses, offices and shops, a science park and library and a cruise ship terminal. This will bring in more tourism into the area resulting in increased GDP. The port of Casablanca will definitely change its face once the project is completed. Five structuring projects are underway to consolidate existing infrastructure, streamline operations, resolve maritime traffic problems, position the port in new activities and improve operating conditions for operators. These projects aim to raise the port of Casablanca to the most successful international standards in terms of port infrastructure. Work is almost completed for the fishing port and earthworks are in progress for the community building. The construction of a cruise terminal is in the study phase and is expected to accommodate 450,000 cruise passengers per year when completed. Number 5. Muhammad VI Tangier Tech City. Tangier Tech Muhammad VI City is being constructed in three phases covering 200 up to 2,000 hectares in total. Work has already started to connect the city to roads, electricity, water and rail. The government of Morocco will grant tax incentives to companies operating in food industries, automotive aeronautical renewable energy, chemical and textile. The tech city will also benefit from its Tangier Med port which is currently still being expanded to enhance trade. There is hope that the tech city will attract investments worth $10 billion and create over 100,000 jobs. Chinese company Elon, one of the world's leading manufacturers of wind blades, has already announced its intention to set up a plant in the Muhammad VI Tangier Tech City. The production facility will cost the company $140 million and contribute to the creation of over 2,000 job openings. Last year the Moroccan government and Chinese organizations signed a series of partnership agreements relating to the Muhammad VI Tangier Tech City. The Smart City is an ambitious project that King Mohammed VI launched in March 2017. The 200 hectare site is set to be completed by 2027. Nearly 200 Chinese companies operating in the automotive, aerospace, textile, electronics, and machine tool sectors are planning to set up locations there. Number 4. Dakla Wind Farm. Morocco is set to be home to a 900 megawatts wind power plant in Dakla courtesy of Saluna Technologies Limited, a newly founded company powering the blockchain economy with low-cost renewable energy, backed by a U.S. private equity firm Brookstone Partners. Saluna has already carried out and completed studies and research into the technical feasibility of the wind power plant and now the environmental studies. The project has also obtained the approval of the Ministry of Energy of Morocco. The project will be implemented on a 37,000-acre site that has wind speeds of 22 miles per hour by AM Wind, which is an affiliate of Germany-based Altus AG, a company that offers wind energy, solar energy, water and waste management solutions. The construction cost is estimated at $2.4 billion, with an initial investment of $100 million for the first phase of the project, which will begin this year and take five years to complete. Once completed, the project will generate more than 400 highly skilled jobs over its lifetime. Number 3. Huarzazate Mega Solar Project. 
The new Ruarzes 8 solar complex is a 580 megawatts power plant located 10 kilometers northeast of the city of Ruarzes 8, Morocco. It is the largest concentrated solar power plant in the world. Phase 1 of the Ruarzes 8 solar power station project involved the construction of a 160 megawatts concentrated solar power plant named Nur 1, while Phase 2 involved the construction of the 200 megawatts Nur 2 CSP plant and the 150 megawatts Nur 3 CSP plant. Phase 3 involved the construction of a 70 MW photovoltaic Nur 4 CSP power plant. Phase 1 construction work started in August 2013 and Nur 1 was officially commissioned in February 2016. Nur 2 and Nur 3 were commissioned in 2018. The project was developed on a build, own, operate and transfer basis by ACWA Power Uarzaze, a consortium of Aqua Power the Moroccan Agency for Solar Energy Aries and TSK. The newer complex is operated and maintained by a consortium led by NAMAC, a subsidiary of AC Washington Power and Mason. The Uarzaz 8 Solar Power Station project forms part of the Moroccan Solar Energy Program, NUR, which aims to develop five solar complexes with a combined capacity of approximately 2 gigawatts by 2024 to meet the energy demands of the country, which depends on 95% imports. Number 2, Madia Renewable Energy City. Announced in 2016, Morocco is investing $2.5 billion over seven years to build a brand new carbon-free city that will rely 100% on renewable energy. The massive construction project is being overlooked by Mohamed Darwish, spanning over 400 hectares and up to 8 kilometers of the coastal landscape. The city will utilize energy in wind, sun and hydropower to meet its energy requirements. Some state-of-the-art facilities included in the city are teaching hospital, a golf course, a shopping mall, tourist facilities and a two-mile cornage lined with shops and restaurants. The project is expected to accommodate 2,000 people after completion. Number 1. Sustainable City. The construction project for the first ecological city of Zenata was completed last year. With 2,000 residential units put up for sale, it is intended to house most of the city's working class and victims of inadequate housing. The eco-city will be occupied in three phases by 2023 to accommodate 8,700 families. The eco-city occupies 470 hectares of green spaces with water retention bases and ecological corridors leading out directly to the sea. The eco-city of Zenata is located in the northeast of the Moroccan metropolis of Casablanca. It covers 1,830 hectares with 5 kilometers of coastline opening onto the Atlantic Ocean. Created in 2006 at the initiative of the state, Zenata is the first African city to be awarded the eco-city label, a certification obtained at the 22nd Conference of the Parties to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, which was held in 2016 in Marrakech. The new city includes a total of 470 hectares of green spaces. Water retention basins for the wet season promote groundwater recharge and afforestation of the site. So there you have it. Those are the 10 most impressive mega projects in Morocco. If you enjoyed this video and want more definitive information about trends and mega projects in Africa, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our future videos.